Lee Byung-hun is a South Korean actor, singer, and model who has garnered international recognition with his performance in Korean and Hollywood film. He is a master thespian whose work has received both critical acclaim and commercial success. Early Life of Lee Byung-hun Lee Byung-hun, born on July 12, 1970, was born in Gwangju, a city in the South Korean province of Jaeyonggi to parents Lee Jong-kun and Park Jae-soon. Son of a successful businessman father, he grew up in relative comfort, surrounded by a loving family. He was self-admittedly a mischievous child. His ethnicity is Asian and according to his nationality, he is South Korean. His only sister, Ian Hee Lee, won the 1996 Miss Korea Beauty Pageant. In addition to the language of love and native Korean, the actor speaks Mandarin Chinese and English. He has a black Taekwondo belt. Moving towards his education, he attended Hanyang University with a major in French literature and graduated from the university. Later he joined Chungang University where he majored in theater and cinematography. He was 5.84 feet, 178 centimeters, tall, weighing 158,733 pounds, 72 kilograms. Career Lee's first acting experience was the leading role in the series Asphalt My Hometown. After the release of the movie Tomorrow Love, the actor attracted an army of fans and especially girls. They began to call him Korean Brad Pitt, largely thanks to the appearance that model agencies and publishers of sports magazines liked. Lee Byung-hun became famous overnight after the release of the war drama Joint Security Area, filmed by the Palma d'Or winner, Park Chan-wook. Lee played a member of the South Korean army kidnapped by a neighboring party in the security area. However, the investigation reveals the details that disagree with the sergeant's words. Lee Byung-hun won the Best Actor awards for this role, as well as for the drama All In. In 2004, Lee Byung-hun starred in the comedy Everybody Has Secrets. The actor's character has love affairs with three sisters in the film, which can be considered erotic due to the number of sex scenes. A year later, Lee Byung-hun signed a contract with Creative Artists Agency, an American acting agency that helped the Korean actor to make an international debut. The result was not long in coming. Two projects, A Bittersweet Life and The Good, The Bad, The Weird, were screened at the Cannes Film Festival. Lee received an Oscar nomination in the first movie, and the actor played a negative character in the second project for the first time in his career. In 2009, Lee Byung-hun conquered Hollywood. The first successful movies were the superhero action movie G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra and the sequel G.I. Joe, Retaliation. On the set, the actor could use his knowledge of martial arts because his character was a ninja who did not feel pain and had a superpower. In the comedy Red 2, Lee played the world's best killer, a friend of a former CIA agent, who participated in the bloody showdown of heroes, Anthony Hopkins, John Malkovich, and Helen Mirren. In the fifth installment of the Terminator franchise, Lee Byung-hun portrayed a robot, prototype series 1000 Terminator, the antagonist of Arnold Schwarzenegger's character. In 2016, Lee became a member of the Magnificent Seven, a group of shooters who defended the Mexican village, in a remake of John Sturgis's western. The next project in the Hollywood filmography of the actor is Misconduct, featuring Al Pacino, Julia Stiles, and Josh Duhamel. At that time, Lee Byung-hun received the KBS Drama Award for his role in the drama Iris. In 2017, Lee Byung-hun starred in the melodrama Keys to the Heart, which told about the search for mutual understanding between the former boxer and his younger brother with autism. Besides, he signed a contract with the United Talent Agency, which promoted Benedict Cumberbatch and Channing Tatum, and after several years of persuasion agreed to appear in the Sci Singers video. Return to Television and Acclaim In 2018, Lee made his television comeback in historical war drama Mr. Sunshine written by Kim Ian Suk. The series was a commercial and critical success, and Lee won the grand prize at the 6th Aben Star Awards. In 2019, Lee starred in the action film Ashfall. In 2020, Lee starred in the political drama The Man Standing Next. Both films were box office successes, and proved Lee's brand power as a lead actor. Lee is set to star in political thriller aviation disaster film Emergency Declaration. In 2020, Lee is set to star in the drama here written by No Hee Kyung, revolving around NGO volunteers. As of April 2021, he is filming Um Tae Wa's disaster thriller film Concrete Utopia alongside Park Bo Young and Park Seo Joon. Girlfriend, Wife, Scandal In the summer of 2013, Lee Byung-hun stopped being a bachelor. The actor's wife, Lee Min-young, 
is a drama star and model who is 12 years younger than the husband. The artists met in 2006 but then did not see each other for five years. Having met again, they looked at each other differently. Lee made a proposal at the premiere of the action movie Red 2, specially organized for this occasion. At the end of the movie, a video appeared on the screen, showing the love confession of Lee Byung-hun and the question of marriage. They say this act cooked Lee Min Young noodle. 900 people attended the wedding at the Seoul Grand Hyatt Hotel, and it cost more than $100,000. Bruce Willis sent his congratulations. The couple spent their honeymoon in the Maldives, settled in Guangzhou, where Lee Byung-hun had his mansion. In March 2015, the couple had a son, Lee Jun-hoo. The happy family life is occasionally shaken by scandals involving Lee Byung-hun. Fortunately, these stories did not affect the marriage. In the early 2000s, he became famous as a heartthrob. The actor was an object of adoration of his colleague in the melodrama All In, Song Haikyo, after which the girl promised herself not to mess with actors. During the filming of the drama Iris, Lee met gymnast Kwon mi Hyun, forced her to quit a career in sports, and persuaded her to get married. However, when Kwon, who lived in Canada, arrived in Korea, her lover began to hide from her. The athlete is rumored to get an abortion. Trying to free Lee Byung-hun from guilt, the production company laid the blame on Kong Byung-kyu, a television star with a dubious reputation, and his bride, who made friends with Kwon mi Hyun. The situation looked as if the unsuccessful gymnast wanted to get the actor's money. They began a lawsuit in a court, after which the influential film studio got off scot-free. In the autumn of 2014, the actor reported to the police that two women blackmailed him with some video of him making sexual jokes. People were outraged by the girl's act and the conversation. Lee Min Young's devoted fans called on her to divorce her husband. As a result, the blackmailers, singer Kim Dae-hee and model Lee ji Hyun, were arrested and fined. Two years later, a video leaked to the internet in which Lee Byung-hun kissed an unknown woman in the presence of his wife. Agents stated that the anonymous lady was the actor's relative. Awards and Achievements of Lee Byung-hun In September 2010, Lee Byung-hun was named as the ambassador for California's tourism promotion to Korea. Similarly, he won the Best Actor Prize in three award ceremonies, 52nd Beksang Art Awards, 37th Blue Dragon Awards, and 53rd Grand Bell Awards, for his role in the critically acclaimed film Inside Men in 2015. Furthermore, he is one of the two first two South Korean actors to put the imprints of their hands and feet on the forecourt of Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood, Los Angeles, the other being veteran actor A. H. N. Sung Ki. Net Worth of Lee Byung-hun Lee Byung-hun has maintained the net worth of around $20 million and his salary is assumed to be around a few hundred thousand. Other Work Lee formed a management company, BH Entertainment, which manages many actors including Han Hoju, Gosu, Jin Gu, and Han Ji Min. He owns a shop, BHNC, which sells hats, scarves, and wallets. Lee Byung-hun is noted in the video game industry for providing his likeness for the main character, Wayne Holden, in the 2006 game Lost Planet, Extreme Condition, for the Xbox 360, PS3 and PC.